Oh, Big Ed, I don't know why, but I really fancy bullying someone this morning. Hmm. Anyone in particular? No, I just can't seem to decide who I should pester. Hmm. Oh, what about Dewey Ump? That kid who's always on stuff. <laughs> nah. Oh, what about Karis Watkins? That girl who looks like Postman Pat? Nah, I made her cry yesterday. Oh, oh, here we go. What about this one by you? Trev the Rev. That kid who thinks he's a car. Meep, meep, meep. What you game, Con? Nah, I bent his wing mirror yesterday. Oh, Con, what about this one? It's that boy you kicked you the other day. Ding dong. Oh, wish your Mars bar. Where were you at eight o'clock last night? Um, uh, I, I was in my house. No, you weren't. Ryan Baker said he saw you over Hilltop beating up my cousin Charmaine. She's only nine. What's all that about? What's wrong with you? I, I, I went in Hilltop. I, I ain't allowed out of my house after seven. What? So you're saying if you were allowed out, you would have beat up a nine-year-old girl? That's sick, Garris. No, no, I, uh... I can't stand people who pick on people smaller than them. <laughs> yeah, smash him out, Con. He's kicking you, boy. Well, you're having it, boy. Conrad Phelps, put him down. Oh, uh, sorry, Mrs. Abbasi. He said he wanted to beat up a girl. My emotions got the better of me. Connor, when do you think I'm ever going to believe you? But, but, but miss, what he's saying goes against my feminist views. Connor, come with me, please. And you, Errol. Miss, don't tell anyone my first name's Errol. It's Big Edmund. With me now. Yeah, I'll come with you, miss. But, but yeah, I'm sensitive about my first name. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Con, look at this. <laughs> it's just full skin. That's his skin, you willy. <laughs> look at this one. Look at that. Look at that one. <laughs> I can't believe I seen this sharing. Sorry, miss. We were just reading. Hey, ma'am, I'm ready. What time can we go? This will be done in 20 minutes. Can you just sit somewhere and do some coursework? <sighs> All right. Oh, 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 oh don't, don't ignore me. What are you doing later? Why? You should come up the circle. Conrad Phelps. Uh, sorry, miss. I was just checking if this bit of the dictionary was right. Oh, come and meet me at the circle later, then. I'll think about it if you stop talking to me. My lips are sealed. Don't you worry. I didn't realise you were friends with Conor Phelps. No, no. You seemed friendly. What were you talking about? I was asking him to be quiet. Oh, okay. Just seems strange that you would sit by him. Well, you told me to sit, so I sat. I wasn't thinking about where. Hmm. But don't forget you're working tonight. No, I'm not. I'm meeting the girls and going down the ledge. And anyway, Dan said I didn't have to because it wouldn't be busy. Mm -hmm. I see you, boy. Yes, you play with your knives. I hope you don't slip on your perfectly waxed parquet flooring and cut yourself. That would be horrible, wouldn't it? But I'd love for you to die. <laughs> Fuck me! Hiya, Mr. Bassey. It's Mona home. Mona! Your friend with the giant head is here! Okay, Dad. See you later. Love you. Bye, Mum. Why did you give her the night off? Because you told me to. You said, Basil, can you give the girls some more nights off? I don't sound like that, Basil. Woman, what the hell is wrong? Woman, what have I done now? Please, come back, bubbly, please. Come on. What? Why, why are we coming here? It's somewhere different. I fancy to change. Yeah, I can't be asked for the ledge today anyway. Mona. Oh. That's why we've come here. No, 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 it's not. Of course not, babe. You all right, girls? Yeah. You okay? <laughs> yeah, didn't think you were going to come. Hiya, big head. <laughs> she 
Aqui. I want smack! And that's all the news from us here at the news this evening. We'll be back with more news at the news time of six o'clock tomorrow. Until then, news. And now on BBC One, investigating a rapid spike in teen sex cases across Wales. It's the Badger. <laughs> Tonight on The Badger, a violent teen sex outbreak is sweeping through Ebba Vale and your offspring are up to their unprotected necks in it. We'll be talking to the teens and parents who have fallen victim to a pandemic of debauchery, leaving Wales in ruins. Oh, crikey, Phil, that was my foot. Oh, my God, I think there's a man in that bush. Quick, <laughs> we'd be wild. I thought nothing of her having a boyfriend, you know? But then they had sex, and she caught this new strain of syphilis, and her face just fell off. It was all because of teenage sex. Ooh, heartbreaking stuff. Do you mind if we get some close-ups of her face, Al? <laughs> Why are you setting ants on fire? Because they're cheeky. You're weird. I I don't like ants either. Oh my god, I just realised we should play Truth or Dare. Do we have to? Why not, Moan? Oh, because it's childish. Ah, I think it's a good idea. I'm game. See? Come on, I'll start. Oh, fine. Who's here? <laughs> I've had enough for you bastard kids! Play no knock ginger! Have it! Oh, oh, I'm finally free. Assholes! <laughs> oh, and he did it. Fair play to him. You get closer every time. Right, Connor. It's your turn now. Go for it. I'm ready. Truth or... Dear. I don't know. Truth. You don't want a day? Nah. Okay, let me think then. I have a question for you. What happened between you and Tash Watson? I don't like to talk about it. But since you asked, and uh, this is truth or dare, and I said truth, she cheated on me. So I broke up with her. But the worst was to come. First, right, I, st I started to feel her presence, even though we were over. Learning the Welsh language is vital for your future, and the job opportunities are endless. There's being a Welsh teacher, working for the S4C, uh, Lords Others. To get us all started, we're going to watch an episode of Publicum. Then I kept seeing her. I, I realised she was stalking me. Tash, no! ah! Let me love you again. Yeah, yeah, but she can't cheat you anymore. I'm so sorry. I, I didn't mean to. No, it's okay. T talking about it hurts. But I suppose it's good to reopen old wounds once in a while. Yes, I may I get to him. Oh, it sounds awful. Yeah, and uh, the only person you had to turn to was Big Ed Beer. Aww, that's lush. Okay, whatever. Right, who's next? Oh my god, Mona, it's you next. Truth or dare? Uh, uh, uh truth. Hmm. Do you fancy Connor? Trina, I'm not answering that. But you did say truth. You should have picked Dare if you were going to shit out. Okay, fine, Dare. I dare you to neck corner. No. Go on, Moan. It won't be that bad. No. You can't go against a day. I think you can have to neck in Moan with his tug and all that. I'm game. <sighs> okay. Only if you don't mind. Don't worry. I get shy as well. You'll enjoy it. I promise. Love. He's so handsome, so mysterious. Strong and silent. 
<laughs> I hope no one does me to next someone. Baz, can I ask you something? I'm not going to spill cricket bat polish on the bed. <laughs> no, no. I was just thinking about something I saw on the telly earlier. Do you ever wonder whether Mona has a boyfriend or has had sex yet? Uh, had the sex? What's his name? I'll take this cricket bat and shove it up his piss hole. No, Basil, she doesn't have a boyfriend, not that I know of. I'm asking if, you know, hypothetically. Well, the normal father response, find him and peel his skin off. That's not a normal father response, though. Have you seen the boys around here? I don't want her throwing her life away for one of those gumbags. Just thinking of it makes my skin crawl. Sorry I'm late. Where you been? Oh, the boss made me stay late at the space supermarket I work at. What's for dinner? Oh, you know I won't cook. Well, I'll just order something from the Gulf Mahal. Fine. I much prefer that to anything my dad would have made at the Golden Cobra anyways. Oh, oh, uh, babe. Oh, oh, oh! Oh, can someone get that? I oh, got touch it, eh? Where's our baby bath gone? I will raise this earthling for you. Uh -uh. Don't be ridiculous. That's not going to happen, is it? Of course it could. And if you even suspect she's seeing someone, we need to be on that, like flies on the shit. Don't you think that we might make things worse if we just tell her no? Teenagers do like to rebel. Samita, I've dealt with a teenager before. I raised Jab. I know a thing or two about parenting. <laughs> Look, you know I love Jab, but I wouldn't parade him as an example of great parenting. Has he ever had a girlfriend? Well, no, but... Exactly. Good night. Says he's got a six pack, his name's on my backpack. Oh.